Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kreitman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at um, alignment. And uh, you'll notice I have some cubes lined up over here, or they're not lined up, but I have them in the scene. And we're going to line them up uh, as we uh, go through the tutorial. Uh, you'll notice that each one of these two has their hot points moved to different areas. When you're doing alignment, um, when you're doing alignments, um, just about everything actually that you're trying to do in Carrera has to deal with your hot point. Um, if you're pointing at something, it's your hot point. Your hot point is very, it, it's a, uh, it's the thing in Carrera. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the red cube and the green cube and heck, the blue cube too. And let's go ahead and get them all aligned going this way. Um, let's push Option, Command, K, or it might be Option, Alt, K. Uh, maybe Control, maybe it's Option, Control, K. Uh, check around on your, on your, function, on your uh, control keys and uh, and uh, option is one of them though to the left or through the right of them one of them is going to make this command come up when you push K um, but on the Mac it is uh, option command uh, let's go ahead and align these guys on the Y in the Y direction uh, everything's the way we want it okay pal you notice that all our hot points have lined up to each other now if you want to, them to line up on the Z axis, you notice how they're all different heights. Let's go ahead and put them on the same height by going and aligning them this way. Now there's there's different options. Dang it. There's different options in here. Um I I don't ever use the contact space distribute. I don't I normally just want to get my hot points to to a certain area in relation to another one. But you have uh, different options here. You can play around with it and, and see what they do. Uh, distribute uh, I've used that one before pretty good effect but uh, yeah um, the whole thing is uh, you're aligning them to the front or to the side or to the top or to all of them at the same time they will all go right to the center of each other now um, your alignment your alignment uh, command is cool but um, there are a lot of other cool ways that you can align things in Carrera. Um, now, if you notice that when you select, when you select an object, and this is a lot of people already know this, but a lot of people probably don't. Um, when you select an object, the object becomes highlighted on your on your uh, drawing plane. You can move this guy around uh, via the silhouette on your drawing plane if you want to. And get some pretty, oh, and get some uh, action happening that way. But uh, yeah, one of the other cooler things. Well, um, you can also, as far as uh, moving your moving your objects around, you can also push uh, Command and then your arrow, and that'll nudge your nudge your objects um, throughout your scene. And you can get smaller nudges if you push shift command and get that too. Now one of the cooler things and one of the things I just found out, uh, this other stuff I've, I use on a fairly regular basis, but um, I never really knew about this uh, collision detection uh, button right here. And that was kind of a, that's kind of a cool one. You notice that if you want your stuff to align, well, uh, let's push Option, Command, and then the arrow key up and down. Puts us right through here. Um, you notice with collision detection, it won't let you drag it up. You can nudge it. You can nudge it, but you can't drag it. Oh, uh, nudge increments. I'm sorry. Let's go back to uh, Scene. And uh, you can get higher or lower nudge in increments, however you know whatever you're dealing with if you're making if you're making a table uh, you can do uh, smaller increments oh. smaller increments and then push shift and get really small increments for your alignment 
but yeah, the uh, collision detection is really. Um, well, I wish I'd have known about this before. You can, it, you can go through an object with your collision detection on, but you really have to want it to go through the object. If you just nudge him, it won't go until you really, really want it to. But uh, yeah, alignment's kind of important in uh, when you're building scenes, uh, especially if you're doing any technical stuff. Uh, you'll wind up uh, probably using this a lot. But uh, anyway, that's how you do alignment. Uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.